Someday, in the not so distant future, it happens. The moment you realize you're ready for anything. Get a degree in emergency management from Jacksonville State University and be ready for where you're going. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, May 19th. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather this week will be dry and warmer. Let's take a look. Big picture water vapor satellite view early this morning to start the day. The trough that brought the unsettled weather over the weekend is moving off the Atlantic coast. That will be a place replaced by an upper ridge middle part of the week. And that means we're going to warm up in a big way. We'll see some locations approaching 90 by Wednesday and Thursday. We're starting off this day mostly in the 50s, although Fort Payne up in the northeastern corner of the state has 48. Mid to upper 50s around here will expect low 80s today. There is a dense fog advisory for us to start today for about the northern half of Alabama that extends into some of the adjacent states. Out west, wildfire dangers for parts of West Texas out into New Mexico and Arizona. Those are red flag warnings there. And up north, frost advisories from West Virginia on north here in late May. How about that? Really about the only severe weather risk to find this week is on day three. This is for Wednesday. A couple of slight risks north of here, but that ridging across the deep south should keep us high and dry. And that's the rain for the next five days. A little sliver of green there, but I think most everybody will be dry. This is valid through Saturday morning at 7 o'clock. So let's look at modeling. This is the GFS, the Global Forecast System, valid today at 1 o'clock at 500 millibars. Troughing moving off the Atlantic coast, upper ridging developing over Texas, and a new trough moving into the west coast. And down below that, again, the sky should be partly sunny with low 80s today. Got a deep surface low up north, but that'll be moving up into Canada. Tomorrow, sunny with a high in the mid-80s. And this is Wednesday. The upper high strengthens. It's located around uh, Ruston, Monroe, Louisiana, Vicksburg, Mississippi. And, of course, that means, it means hey, excuse me, a warm, dry day on Wednesday. We'll be in the upper 80s. Somebody in West Alabama probably touching 90, like Tuscaloosa. Thursday, pretty much the same deal. And Friday, no real change. Highs, I'd say, 87 to 90, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. What about the weekend, you ask? Well, this is Saturday. Got a deep uh, upper trough digging into the southwest United States. Uh, we've got a northerly flow aloft troughing on the east coast, and that might be kind of a setup for a backdoor-type front. You can see lower thickness values that are just north and east of here, but I'm not so sure any of that cooler air reaches us. I still think we'll be in the upper 80s. And pretty much the same thing on Sunday. Moisture levels should be a tad higher. But again, uh, uh, there's just no forcing mechanism for rain. So I think the weekend at this point looks warm and dry. That's Memorial Day weekend. And speaking of that, this is Memorial Day week from today, Monday, May 26th. And again, I just don't see any reason to forecast rain at this point. There might be a shower somewhere, but they'd be so widely spaced with this look. No need to mention that. And again, we'll be in the upper 80s. So at this point, weather for the Gulf Coast, our part of the state looks just fine for the next seven days. Really, this seems to be the next chance of uh, showers, perhaps. This is around May 30th, the end of the month, with a cold front coming in. But that's no severe weather look, and that's the good news. We don't see any severe weather threat here for the rest of May. Just maybe our spring tornado season is going to wrap up in a quiet way. And the end of the forecast on June 3rd. We are into meteorological summer. Big old upper high centered just west of here. And if that's right, that's hot and dry. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 4 o'clock today. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News, the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.